thanks for tuning in to Brazilian Jiu Jitsu Incorporated. Today's video is a video request I got by one of my subscribers. They're having a hard time holding someone down when they've passed their guard. They're getting, they're not successful at holding them down. I got three tips on how to help that person. Hopefully it'll help you. Stay tuned. Okay, so I'm in guard. I'm gonna pass. I'm over top. Three ways he's going to escape my side control. I pass his guard and he's gonna replace me to guard. And I'm like, man, all that hard work for nothing. Now I'm back in guard. I can get control. I'm susceptible for submissions, sweeps. Not a good position to be in. So I gotta do all that work over here, I pass the guard, and how I wanna shut down replacing the guard is going to control position number three. Control position number three is when the elbow is on the other side of the head, and this hand is by his thigh, and I use this part of the forearm checking the top of his thigh or the outside thigh. So now I'm from here, and why don't you try to replace me to guard now, Juan? He hips out. As he hips out, I follow him. This is exaggerated, but this hand here. If this hand is not here and there's a cross, go ahead, Juan. Now he's replacing me to guard. So I need to maintain control position number three and checking the hip, replace me to guard, Juan. So now I got side control and there's no way with number three, he's replacing the guard. I'm in guard. One way he can escape my side control is he can bridge and roll. So I go to pass the guard, I hop over, I get control position number two. My hips are a little bit high. He's going to bridge into me. I bridge back and then I'm on my back, which is now even worse than I was before. How to avoid bridging and rolling, to get bridged and rolled, is I pass the guard, I come over, and now I'm gonna to go to control position number three. So now I'm shutting down, replacing the guard, and then when he goes to bridge and roll, bridge, I bring my hips down. Go ahead and roll, bridge and roll on. Go ahead and roll, bridge and roll. Not happening because my weight is so far over here, I'm way too heavy. When my hips are higher, I'm, there, I'm lighter on him and I can go that way quicker and simpler. When my hips are high, go ahead, bridge and roll. And freeze right there. Now I'm going over from here. To avoid that, go ahead, bridge and roll. I bring my hips down. So I want to check the hip to stop replacing the guard. I want to drive my hips down to prevent getting bridge and rolled. The third way I want to be aware that he can escape my bottom is now he can go to his knees. So let's demonstrate that part. So now I'm passing the guard. I get side control. I'm here. He now will push my head, hip out. And now he's gone to his knees and he may even drive forward and put me on my back. This way, not a good position. To avoid him going to his knees and escaping my side control is one simple element. Here, I pass the guard, I get side control, I have him flat. He wants now to go to his side, go to your side. He's on his side right here. One more time, Juan, do that again. All I need to do is put the weight on this far shoulder. Go ahead, Juan. So this shoulder, I'm gonna help you, go ahead. Comes up. This is what you don't want to happen. So, I go to control position number three, I check his hip, I keep my hips down, and I just drive, go to your side, Juan. Go to your side. I keep the weight on the top of his shoulder, right here. So the trick 
to holding someone down is you have to formulate that there's three general ways of escaping. He can go to his knees, he can replace me to guard, or he can bridge and roll. Those are three things I gotta keep in mind. When I'm in control position number three, I'm checking the hip over here. I'm keeping my hips down. I'm driving my weight over top of the shoulder. Juan, go ahead and skate me, please. And I'm here. If you cannot replace me, go ahead and replace me to guard. Not happening, go to your side. Bridge and roll. And I'm here. So I'm going to add two extra moves here. Um, when this arm is very active and going for the underhook of my far arm. So I'm putting pressure at this shoulder and nothing always works all the time. So when he's a bit successful at working an underhook of my bottom arm and he's able to go to his side, I'm pushing. Go ahead there, Juan. He's really working. We're struggling. And then somehow, go ahead, Juan. Lovina. Right. So whenever I feel... I start losing position here and he's got that underhook. All I want to do is go overhook on top of the shoulder, switch my base, and now attack that arm that was too active for my liking. Another minor hiccup is I'm in control position number three. I'm shutting down his replacing the guard. I'm shutting down the bridge and roll. I got the weight on his top shoulder so he can't turn onto his knees. Sometimes he'll go, well, let me go to the, my other side. So he'll roll over away from me and he's here. And I'm like, oh man, I'm not liking this. He's creating space. He's on his side. You can't marry yourself to one position. So all I do is I rotate and put pressure on the top of his other shoulder. So I'm shutting down, he's replacing the guard. I'm shutting down the bridge and roll by keeping my hips low. I got the weight on his top shoulder. He's gonna turn away from me. Go ahead, Juan. As I feel that, I'm not liking this. So all I'm going to do is rotate and now drive his other shoulder down. And now I'm in control position number three, but the other side. So there you have it. How to keep someone down in side control. You passed that guard, you did the hard work, you finally got good position. Keep in mind, there's three fundamental ways they can escape by replacing the guard, by the bridge and roll, or by going to their knees. So you gotta check the hip, keep your hips down to prevent the bridge and roll, and keep the pressure on their shoulder to prevent them from turning into you. So if you have those three key elements in mind, you'll be more difficult to be dealt with when you got top position. Rep it out with your training partner. I hope it works for you and I look forward to seeing you in the mat soon.